All right, we got a fun one for you here. What about an AI agent that makes cold email outreach for your company? And it does it all on autopilot while you sleep. So fresh leads keep getting into your inbox. We're slowly starting to automate every single aspect of your business. We're so close and cold sales is another piece of that puzzle. Let's get right into it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. You're going to head on over to youraiagent.com. Your AI agent is a comprehensive business suite of AI agents. So enter your name and email address, password, and then click sign up. It's going to drop you onto the settings page and to use the new cold email outreach AI agent, we're going to need to connect an email platform. So right now I have just integrated with SendGrid. If you have another preference, please write it in the comments below. This AI agent is in beta, so it's completely new and it's going to be fine tuned over the next coming weeks. So please give some suggestions in the comments. But for this video, let's set up SendGrid. So I'm going to click on this tab and we need to name our integration. We need to connect a verified sender. I'll show you that in a second and then grab your API key. So first off is the name. I'm going to call it your AI agent email address. And then for the verified sender and API key, we're going to hop on over to our SendGrid dashboard. Okay, here I am in my dashboard. On the left side, you're going to click settings and then sender authentication. Now, I believe if it's a new account, it kind of walks you through this process already. But what we're looking for is verify a single sender. You're going to create an email address for your domain. So, for example, my domain is youraiagent.com and I created the admin email address. They're going to have you fill in some company data like your address, city, state or country, your from name. And then I believe it's just going to send an email to that address. And then you have to click a button in that email to verify it. So they just want to confirm that you own the domain. So I'm going to take this email address and paste it into the input. And then now for an API key, you go under settings as well. And then API keys and then create an API key. You're going to give it full access, click create and view, and then copy that key, paste it in here. Then click connect and if everything is good, you're going to get a notification that says your SendGrid account has been connected. So you can click OK. And then now on the connections page, we scroll down and we see our newest SendGrid connection right here. OK, now for the fun stuff. Let's go to the home page. On the home page is where you'll see all of the current agents that we offer. And these are all automations that can be used for your business. And they all try to handle a different aspect of your business. And now we have the cold email outreach sales AI agent. Okay, there's a few things to note right off the bat. This AI agent is very expensive to run. Getting verified leads and getting their email addresses is pretty expensive. So I'm slowly transitioning all the AI agents under your AI agent to a credit system. And this falls in line with industry best practices. You'll see that a lot of other AI agent softwares, they also use a credit system. And it's because each agent costs a different amount. So I can't bundle everything under 20 active workflows that it was before. And this way you'll be able to run more agents, some of the cheaper ones, but you might have to run less agents for the more expensive ones. So on the basic plan, you get 2,900 credits per month, but at any point you can also add to that. So I'm going to click on this right here. And then it's under the purchase credits tab. So you can purchase credits at a discount and these purchase credits, they never expire. So if you purchase 10,000 credits, you can use that on top of your monthly subscription credits. They expire at the end of the month, but they reset at your next billing period. And this is going to replace adding extra workflows to your account. So you could buy a bunch of credits and then you can use them as you wish. This agent costs 40 credits per 10 emails, and I can give you an idea of how many emails that you can send each month. Okay, cold email outreach. It automates your lead generation by finding and contacting potential leads on your behalf. Simply enter your key query and choose a target country, and the agent will scan the web to identify relevant, and this is a big one, they are verified email addresses from publicly available sources, complete with personalization options. This agent works continuously and it works in the back end while you're sleeping, 
sending one personalized email per hour 24 7. It is always working, always finding new leads for your business. You can further customize each email using dynamic placeholders like email inside curly brackets, first name, last name, job title, and company to seamlessly incorporate recipient details and boost engagement. So that way it doesn't look so cookie cutter each email. You can actually use their business, their company names, their first names, and it does that all automatically. Okay, the first thing is you choose your connection. It's gonna choose our send grid connection right here. Now we need a keyword. So this filters individuals based on specific keywords related to their profiles. This is one keyword and it can pertain to industries, job titles, skills, or other relevant attributes. This is gonna depend on your business. But if it finds the keyword in that user's profile, that is one of the lead that it's gonna scrape. So let's pretend I'm doing it for my business right here, your AI agent, and I wanna target e-commerce companies. So I'm gonna write e-commerce as a keyword, and for the country, I'm gonna keep it at United States, and I think we'll be able to find a lot of potential leads with this setup. The more specific your keyword, the less leads you're gonna find. But still, it's gonna go through all those leads. It's gonna send a cold email to each of them, that way casting a wide net. Okay, for the opening email, you get the option to add a subject line and then the email. So by default, I just start you off with this. The subject is quick idea to help company within curly brackets, so that's dynamic data. It's gonna use their company name. So if their company name was Nike, for example, it would automatically placeholder to quick idea to help Nike. And then hi, first name, let's say Mike. Hi, Mike, I came across Nike and thought there could be a good opportunity to enhance your business processes, saving you valuable time and resources. I'd love to briefly discuss some ideas on how we might help. Are you open to quick chat this week? So you can edit this so it fits your business. And let me edit this a bit. I'm gonna add using AI and automation. Next is the reply to email address. By default, we just pull the verified sender, but you can change this to anything. Let's say, hey, Wes Frank at gmail.com. So all replies go into my main inbox. And then we have the option to send follow-up emails, which is big for sales, because maybe they miss that initial message or maybe they forget to respond you might increase your conversion percentage. So I'm gonna turn this toggle on, but in order to set this up, we do need to add some extra steps. And I'm gonna walk you through how to do this and tell you why we need to do this. So the first things first, you need to create an MX record for your domain that points to an agent subdomain. And I'm using the host agent as a subdomain because I feel that's very uncommon. So you'll know why it's there in your records you're doing it for your AIagent.com, for your AI agents. And let me show you how to do that quickly. So my website domain is hosted on Porkbun, but this would work for GoDaddy, Google domains, anything that you use. Here I am managing the DNS records, and I'm gonna copy agent for host. We're changing the type to MX record. So the host is agent. So it's gonna make agent.youraiagent.com. And that answer is the mx.sendgrid.net. Paste that into the answer slash value. And then it wants the priority to be 10. So let's put that here. Then click add. And then you'll see it added to your records. So that's step one. Step two is you need to create an inbound parse. And we're creating that in SendGrid using that subdomain agent. And we're pointing it to our incoming webhook URL, which is this destination URL. So in SendGrid, under settings, go to inbound parse, and then click add host and URL. For the subdomain, remember we're writing agent, and for the domain, you choose your verified sender domain, so youraiagent.com for me, and then I'm gonna copy this for the destination URL, where you're gonna paste it in here, and then I like to check this option, which is check incoming emails for spam, so I'm gonna enable that, then click add, and it should show up here. So what is going on is, after you send that initial email to the lead, we've created a webhook at this URL. So if they reply to you, we're gonna get that email, we're gonna find out which lead replied to your email, and if it replied, we're no longer going to start the follow-up email flow. That way you don't send an embarrassing follow-up if they've already responded to you. 
So this way we can track their replies and then we forward that email right to your reply to email address. If you don't want to send follow-ups or you think it's too complicated, you can just disable this. But if you have it enabled, you're going to need to set this up in order for it to work properly or else it's going to continue to follow up regardless as if they respond because that'd be bad if they responded to your initial email and then you send a, Hey, I just want to quickly follow up on my previous message, but you're already in a conversation with them that actually might kill the sale. So this is why we need these extra steps. But anyways, the follow up emails work the same as the initial email. You can use these dynamic placeholders, but you can also choose the follow up after. So let's say follow up after five days initially. And then after that email, if they still haven't responded, send another pitch after seven days. And the final pitch could be something like final check in for company name. Hey, let's say Mike, I know your time is valuable. So I'll keep this brief. If you're still interested in exploring ways to enhance your business operations, I'd love to set up a quick call. If now isn't the best time, no worries. Just let me know. And then after those two follow-ups, if they still haven't responded, they're probably never going to respond. So we can move on and target another potential lead. So I'm going to click start agent, everything's set up properly. And here we see cold outreach for e-commerce. The type is cold email outreach. It's that agent. These are all of your active workflows. I can click into edit it at any point. And here we go. We see the first email sent to a cold lead. And it said, hi, Victor, I came across LifeWorks Technology Group and thought there could be a good opportunity to enhance your business processes using AI and automation. So we have sent one email in this queue and it looks like for e-commerce in United States, there's a total lead count of 9,059. That's a lot of potential sales that we could get for your AIagent.com. At any point, you can pause this workflow. You can delete it. We can click to view the history and on this page, we'll see all the emails that we've sent, all initial emails and follow-ups. And if I click on edit workflow, where it takes us back to that initial page where we can edit any of our emails, change any of the settings. And then once I've done making my changes, I can click save changes at the bottom and it will update your currently running AI agent. I see the total credits in the top left corner, still have a lot of emails to go. And hopefully this workflow will start bringing in me some new sales. If you have any ideas for this new cold email outreach AI agent, I'd love to hear them. Please write in the comments below. If you want to try it out for yourself, if you're ready, I'll drop a link to your AI in the description. If you're a wannabe developer like myself and you want to learn how to build your own AI agents and potentially turn it into a profitable web app, Check out my online course, how to build a custom AI app. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.